Welcome to David Dave's Take. Today we are talking about The Creator, the newest film from Gareth Edwards, the guy who directed Godzilla and Rogue One. Against the backdrop of war between humans and robots with artificial intelligence, a former soldier finds the secret weapon, a robot in the form of a young child. I had some expectations for this film. I was actually very excited to see it because I do like Gareth Edwards as a director a lot. I think he does a great job with the scope of things and how things look. And honestly, it's been a really long time that we've gotten a original sci-fi film with like a giant budget. It feels like all the big sci-fi movies nowadays are just Star Wars or recycled IP of something that's already been established. It feels like there's nothing new, original, or fresh. And I was hoping that The Creator could be that film that does feel refreshing and original. And the first thing I have to say about The Creator, it's gorgeous. This is a great looking film. Gareth Edwards directed the shit out of this movie. There are so many shots that are just grand in scope. And there are some great moments of world building in here. The world that Gareth Edward establishes here is amazing. There's a lot of great little things, little details in this world that makes it feel lived and fleshed out. And I've always felt like Gareth Edwards has done a great job with scope and establishing a world that the story takes place in. It's no different with the creator. I mean, there are shots in here that's infused with CGI that looks seamless. It looks amazing. There's a lot of wide shots. There's a lot of great set pieces that feel epic epic and big. There's one specifically with a bridge with a robot that's designed to be a running bomb that I thought was really well done. This film is just great to look at and I really like the world that Gareth Edwards establishes. And I also really like John David Washington. I think he's a great actor and I thought he fit really well for the protagonist for this film. But unfortunately, those three things I mentioned are really the only things I liked about this film. And I was a little bit let down by it. Look, it's not like I hate the film and it's not like I totally dislike it. I guess I was a little disappointed because it has been a long time since we've gotten that really refreshing and original sci-fi film. And I thought this could be it. And honestly, with Gareth Edwards and his vision of this world and how it looks, this could have been one of those films. But unfortunately, it's just great to look at. But everything inside the film, the story, the plot, and what the movie's trying to do, unfortunately doesn't really work. The biggest problem with this film is probably the script. The dialogue isn't great, and the overall story just feels like things we've seen a million times before with films dealing with artificial intelligence. But there are parts throughout the film that our characters have internal conflict with everything that's going on, and there's some development there that I think works. It's just the overall story. It's not that it's bad, it just feels very generic, like AI wrote this entire story. And I said before, the film does a good job of establishing this world and the little details, and it does do a good job for the most part, but there are little details that did kind of bother me because there is technology in this film that it's unbelievable. It's like a true achievement, but then it seems like there are little things throughout the film, like little simple pieces of technology that this world definitely would have, and they just don't. And that's another problem with the script and the story. There's a lot of plot conveniences throughout the film. To get a character to another location or for a plot thing to happen, there's a lot of conveniences that happen that can come off as irritating. Also, the villains here are very weak, but they're not really in the movie that much, so that's kind of a plus. But at the same time, it's like, why even have them in the movie if they're barely going to be in the movie? Also, I know I said before there are some moments of character development that I enjoyed, but for characters in this film, there really isn't any that I cared about. They all feel forgettable and generic, like this plot and like this story. And also the film's a little bit too long and doesn't really know when it wants to end. But overall, the creator, I was looking for this original refreshing sci-fi movie with a giant budget. And honestly, I would say go see it just to support that fact that this movie even was made. It's a giant sci-fi movie that is an original script, it's an original idea that I can appreciate that. But it's the things inside the movie that don't really work for me. It's great to look at. It looks amazing. The world building inside the film, for the most part, does a great job. There's great little details, great weapons, all of that that I think really works. I like John David Washington, and there's some character development here that I enjoyed. But when you look past the look of the movie and look at the film for its story, plot, and what it's trying to do, it unfortunately feels forgettable and somewhat generic, but... If you're looking for a big sci-fi movie with a big budget and an original idea, I think you will have fun with this film, but it's nothing that's going to completely blow you away. I'm going to give the creator 6.5 Davy Daves.
like I said before, you should just go see this film because it is a big budget sci-fi original idea. We haven't had one in a long time. I don't want this film to bomb for studios to be like, we're never doing that again. We're only going to fund Star Wars and Marvel. So go see it on that fact and let me know what you think. So the creator, let me know what you guys thought of it once you've seen it. I'm curious to hear and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Click here to see more of Dave Day's Takes.